Well, hello again, and welcome to another one of Davies' springtime saunters. Today I brought myself to the west of the city and dropped onto one of my favourite walking routes, the Water of Leith Walkway, and I'm up at uh, Collington Village, and I'm just at uh, the old Collington station on what this used to be uh, a rail line, and uh, it ran from Balerno right into Princes Street Station, which uh, sits, or used to sit, uh, right behind the Caledonian Hotel. I'm just about to enter the Collington Tunnel, uh, which has recently undergone a bit of major artwork and was commissioned by a, a gentleman by the name of Chris Rutherford. And he engaged a couple of street artists and the services of about 600 young school children. And they began to paint a mural, which has now been regarded as Scotland's largest mural in terms of surface area covered. The theme for the uh, artwork was based on a Robert Louis Stevenson poem, and that poem uh, is from a railway carriage, which is based around a child's eye view of a railway journey on this uh, record. Uh, the, the, the poem goes something like this. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches, and changing along like troops in a battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattle. All of the sights of the hill and the plain fly as thick as the driving rain, and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles, all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes, and there is the green for stringing the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the road, lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill, and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. However, I think it's better if we go and look at it ourselves. So come along with me and see this beautiful piece of artwork. It's probably not easy to get the full effect of this on a little video I'm shooting here, but you can probably understand the amount of effort and work that went into producing something like this. And I think we have to commend the artist and all of those young children for their sterling work. It's absolutely fantastic and a great piece of local history has been made. To think at one point this tunnel had steam trains running through it and diesel trains and then when it was boarded up in the early 70s, uh, never to be used by trains again. Um, it was reopened when the Water of Leith walkway uh, was created and it ran all the way from Balerno right down to Leith Docks. And once it opened it was subject to a bit of the usual uh, vandalism and stuff like that uh, and the, the obscene graffiti that we see in quite a lot of the uh, other urban architecture but this to me is a fantastic transformation and brings to life a, a piece of you know something that would have just been ignored uh, and I think we have to give a lot of credit to that artist for creating this for us and the work done by the school children. And it's good to see that these young street artists, instead of just uh, painting tags, as they call them, they've actually produced something that will hopefully last forever uh, and is used widely by the local community, cyclists, 
dog walkers, joggers, you know, school children on outings, etc. Well, as you can see, I'm just about to come to the end of the tunnel and I'm going to head on further down through the walkway uh, into Collington Dell, into Longstone. Uh, probably pop up onto the Union Canal and then head along there towards the town centre, uh, Bread Street, the Grass Market, Cowgate, Hollywood Road and then back home. And as you can see, lovely waterfall to finish on. Okay, that was a wee bit of a different experience. Thanks very much for your time and I'll catch you all again next time. Bye for now.